most molecules will probably also not be destroyed. So, uh, at the level of components, um, probably the, the fundamental constituents of all matter we see around us, including us, are somehow never destroyed. They are always there. They are there from the beginning. I do believe that the cycles of creation and destruction are the movements of dance done by Lord Shiva. Actually, Brahma, you know, supposed to create the world. Then Vishnu supports it or uh, what you call uh, maintains it. And uh, in the end, Shiva, uh, Mahadev or uh, uh, what you call Mahesh, he is supposed to destroy. But Nataraja, of course, is a standing god and he personifies all the, the our uh, performing arts, you know, whether it is, uh, say, dance, drama, music. He, he destroys bad things and he brings in good. So Shiva, he is known as Shiva means goodness in life. The eternal life, the eternal dance of life, in which it in, which shows that he is truth. He is neither touched by life or death. Life, which is shown by the Damaru which creates sound. The creation of sound is the creation of life. And on the other side is the, f the f tongue of fire that he holds, which, dis which denotes destruction, the end of everything. These organized things get more organized, that I would define as creation. And organized things getting more disorganized, I would define as destruction. Okay. Now, what organization means itself is again a technically difficult thing to define. Mm -hmm. But disorganization is somehow much easier to define. People uh, think, say, when you have, uh, say, a vase on a table and it falls and breaks, it goes from an organized state to a disorganized state. Shiva as a soul, as the truth, as the auspicious one, is untouched by either birth or death. And it is around him that the cycle of life goes. And it is through his dance that the whole universe, the whole cycle of life and death moves. If you assume that quantum mechanics does apply to everything in the universe, and there are no other systems which are beyond quantum mechanics, then the evolution of the system as a whole can neither create nor destroy or, or it can have cycles maybe it's one part of the cycle you can regard as creation and another part you can regard as destruction but somehow all information is always there there is no um, information may become more scrambled spread out and then more focused at times and you may be called the focusing as creation and the defocusing as destruction but uh, in the end, it is a quantum mechanics alone, if applied to the whole universe, predicts a completely cyclic process, so you cannot get out of it. According to one of the Hindu philosophies, um, this whole world is an illusion. Illusion in the sense that what happens here is not permanent and we attach ourselves to all these impermanent things which is eventually going to die and it is that destruction, that death that we're afraid of. So it is to stamp on that ignorance, to stamp out the fact that you have to be scared of death, is to stamp out the fact that this world is real in terms of the only reality. and rise above that, which is why his leg is held up. From a scientific point of view, death is just this decay. So this organization goes away, everything goes into the soil to create a new one. 
So if you look detachedly, it's an inevitable thing and, and there is nothing beyond that in the sense that new things get created, new person gets created, but this person, new person is not aware necessarily of the previous one. Right? The only thing continuing is the information. This template of information which makes the being is actually the one which is uh, continuously going. According to biology, this is the genes which goes all the time and these genes create new structures and, and then you need this machine ages, the one which is created uh, gets less useful so you have to replace it with a new one. Life, you know, is a see, uh, like a bubble, no? It's important. We do not know what time uh, will uh, the breath, you know, or the satanic or the soul leaves the body. So naturally, this is one aspect is shown in Raghuri. It shows only, see, how life is not a permanent thing, but while it lasts, you know, it grows, gives beauty. But at the same time, we uh, depict Raghuri so that our life is as beautiful, though it may not be permanent. During, it is in fact during the destruction of some big stars in the past that things like iron, uh, heavy elements have been created which now go into our bodies. So our bodies are made of things which have been resulting from destruction of very very far stars, uh, billions of light years so far. But I'm not scared of death, I'm quite excited to what it's going to happen to my soul and where I'm, where I'm going to go after that. And that is what the ultimate is, to reach that.